So Jay-Z decides to turn into another Dr. King during the Grammys. Uh, I'm about to play it before I give my opinion. Just listen to what he says to the Grammy. So he talks about you know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight I'll and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you made it robbed. I love you. Some of you don't belong in the category. Uh huh. No, 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 no. Now when I get nervous, I tell the truth. <laughs> Uh -huh. Just in life, as, I, as my daughter sits and stares at me nervous as I am, uh, um, just in life, you got to keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Forget the Grammys. You got to keep showing up until, you, until they give you all those accolades you feel you deserve, until they call you chairman, until they call you a genius, until they call you the greatest of all time. You feel me? Just in life. Uh-huh. There we go. Ain't that beautiful? Wonderful. The it couple. You know what I'm saying? Bonnie and Clyde. All I need in my life is this. It's me and my girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So Jay-Z speaks up at the Grammys. He talks about how Beyonce got over 30 nominations but has never won an album of the years. Whoo, child, we need to go march and we need to go protest this immediately. Haven't we heard this story before? Haven't we seen these rituals, quote unquote rituals before? So Jay-Z is the second coming of the greatest thing that black people can hear because we are a monolith. We're not a monolith according to what y'all in the comment sections be saying and y'all fanatics, a.k.a. quote-unquote groupies, fanned out people who be D-riding. What Fulio said, boy, don't get pregnant off all that D-riding, but got a lot of births and people being conceived through all this D-riding. In other words, man, our people are so vulnerable, which that vulnerable part and vulnerability uh, is understandable. Our people are so vulnerable that it's understandable why we do what we do. See, they throw these faces like Jay-Z and Beyonce and give you crocodile tears as if this is the standard why we should complain and protest and march with the Grammys. So now, forget about amongst the economic parts going down with our people. Forget about you got literally, no disrespect to the ladies, but they, and I understand it, queens, but the ones who are doing the abortions, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they're they stuck in a situation financially or whatever. You're going to call them a whore. But I do understand, like, it's been acceptable where you think this is part of life and it's rightfully so. Even Preacher pork chop made abortion seem like it's cool. But I'm here to give you a hug, mama. I ain't here to point a finger and call you a killer like everybody else do. You feel me? We got to understand it. But what I'm trying to bring out here is we got real issues going on in our so-called community. I say so called because y'all hate Tommy Sotomayor, and I understand he got a lot of weird ways about him, but he do got some home runs about him too, bro. So when Tommy says about, you feel me, there's no such thing as a black community. I feel there is, but I understand why people don't see this so called community. They throw a face like Jay-Z with Beyonce problems to the world. Jay-Z could have speaked about anything on that stage. He could have said, the hell with the Grammys. Throw that bitch down. He put a drink and drinks it and y'all think, unbelievable. As if we didn't see Drake drink it and all these other, or, or, or my man Sammy from the Rat Pack do it too. We've seen all these people been drinking from the, but you think it's so, wow, it's so mythical. He's a writer. He's a writer. What? 
the man who act like he was with Colin Kaepernick and then, yeah, that part, you feel me? Which I don't even trust Colin Kaepernick too, but that's another video for another day. Look at you niggas in the comment sections. You so emotional. Nah, man, leave your emotions out of this, man. Carl Thomas, where you at? Where you at, gang? Oh, emotional. That's, that's what you niggas... You niggas is like this. They have these rituals to emasculate and embarrass you dudes and make you an all-time professional victims, bro. You're going to be like DJ Bless One is a conservative. This has nothing to do with being a conservative, a liberal, none of that, bro. This is just me, Mario. I ain't even DJ Bless One today, bro. Listen, bro, this is the lion man over here, bro. This is Mario letting you dudes know they throw you that little breadcrumb cookie or whatever, man. What Tyreek had called that, um... The biscuits, <laughs> even though Tyree been getting me mad lately, but brother funny as hell, bro, because he ain't capping when he said they be giving you dudes them butter biscuits, bro, and Beyonce and Jay-Z is the butter biscuits, and you niggas go sucking it up, eating it up, pause, you feel me? Mason Cameron type of, it is what it, no, it ain't is what it is, it's a pause, gang, and it's like, he comes in a national audience Grab, he starts it off about his wife. Cool, defend your wife and all that, but this is a problem for you to complain about. The fact that she's even been nominated over 30 times, you should be grateful to that. My personal opinion, but you're going to tell me about white counterparts who got it, white counterparts, this and that. Stop doing this, bro. You're the boy who cried wolf. You're the little lady who cried wolf, bro. You ain't even Little Red Riding Hood. She was gangster. You feel me? How my New York family be saying it? Gangster, you feel me? That's who Little Red Riding Hood is, bro. Like, she walked through them trails with nobody knowing the big bad wolf is over here. And other, they ain't even tell you about the other mysterious characters who was in the wood. And she still walked the trail. Even Dorothy, bro. Dorothy followed that yellow brick road. But as a kid, do you remember the Wizard of Oz? Little mama walked through the yellow brick road and seen all these creatures and monsters, nigga. High or not high, nigga. I want to get the fuck out of Oz, nigga. The first time I seen a flying monkey. And she, like, like, what you? mean, bro? These little folks standing, we represent the lollipop kid. Nigga, freaky. Freaky, baby. Like, come on, man. What I'm trying to tell you is, bro, those are the strength and trials and tribulations that you can somewhat look, but then you bounce it to Jay-Z, get it on stage to cry about that. Basically, he tried to say in a nutshell that the Grammys don't care about us. Some artists don't even belong in these categories, but here's the problem. Why not get on stage and be like, fuck the Grammys. We need to stop going through it. And I don't even want to hear him say it because they've been saying this for the last 20 something years. And if you want to go longer, shout out to the people who really fought the fight, but they got tired of fighting the fight. They've been going at the Grammys for the last 50 something years. Factual. And if we can go even longer than that, but I, I don't know that part. And I was told by an old wise man, stick to what you know. You feel me? Like, let, let's just be honest, bro. The man is a puppet and got the puppeteers all in his backside in his four point of contact. They done stuck it up in his four point of contact. Google, nigga. Google is your friend. You got a smartphone in your hand and you never use it. You just get in the comment. You lying. Not one time did you fact check, but I'm a liar. All right. Back to Jay-Z. The man goes in the ritual. He does all that crying and the proponents in the comment section is going wild. We love Jay-Z. He stood up for us. But guess what? Who gets executive parts of these committees? Who gets part of the boards in these committees? Jay-Z. So you couldn't make a change behind the scenes already? And they benefit you, give you something on camera, and you use it as a moment to put the pitch to keep us as professional victims. Professional victims. No, I, I know, I know. It's getting to some of y'all. I'm a hater. Me, I'm the hater. I'm actually face to face with the people every day. Man, fuck this camera situation, bro. Outside every day. And we don't call it outside. This is normal life. I got the damn situations of organizations that we don't even put on camera like that. But one time, because takeoff had died, I wanted to show people, bro. We everywhere with it. We was up in Atlanta feeding everybody, bro. It's on camera. And I don't even like putting it on camera. We do this every year. This past one, we gave blankets away this time, bro. And money, bro. Because you can go buy what you need. I don't even care if you're gonna go get high with it bro it's not my business i'm here to acquiesce to crying out people and i'm not moses i'm not even though i got a son named moses and king but i ain't nothing i'm just a regular schmuck 
that actually care because I know what it feels like sleeping in shelters. I know what it feels like sleeping in your vehicle, having the court and systems be against you even when you're not trying to care about being a victim. So it circles back around, bro. You idol worship these celebrities. You got do even dudes on the internet who I don't even like. They've been saying what Jay Z's been saying upon days, upon days, upon days. You pay no attention. Jay Z gets up there as the puppet he is, and he says this to you guys, and you're so profound. Oh, the astute level of this man, this great Messiah named Jay Z, and it's like it's embarrassing, bro. And thank God we're not a monolith, even though up it appears to me we are. When you look at the conversations you see on camera, or even at the barbershop, it appears that a lot of us really are monoliths. Oh, you don't believe me? Go ask Barack Obama. Ooh, wait. Oh, and don't let them know. And who you really voting for and things like that. And niggas lose, Negroes lose their minds, bro. How dare you think different than me and other people who look like you? How dare you think outside the box and you try to be a free thinker? How dare you try to be a free man up in the world? How dare you, Negro? <laughs> Boy, you could catch them like a fly that done swoop by, bro. Don't let that go over your head. An old man told me that too before. But boy, you could catch them quick as a fly swoops by, bruh. Sheesh, bruh. To the embarrassment I feel, bruh. In no other form of culture or community will you see the groups of people and masses look upon their quote-unquote celebrities or quote-unquote for you, Negrumps, your gods. They would never look at these people, these court jesters that the world is being given to entertain as some type of symbolism of freedom fight struggle like but here comes us once again like i said before in the video we're so vulnerable that it's understandable how easy it is when one of these negroes get on stage and they fight the fight and raise the fist up and <laughs> remarkable outstanding Jesus Christ, bruh. When is the circus routine gonna stop, bruh? Sheesh, bruh. I'd rather be the clown at the circus because at least I ain't the one who organized that bit and stuck over there. You feel me? At least I'm not the people buying the ticket to be in the show. I'm being an entertainer. I guess I'm in a horse position, in a prostitute's position. You feel me? But what say you? You over here buying the ticket, purchasing it, <laughs> drinking the drinks, you just eating everything up, bro. That makes you the worst one. So go ahead, Jay-Z. We're all at the circus together, bro. We all see what it is, and I understand it, bro. Keep doing what you're doing because the Avengers of Negroes will always be here on their knees and bitching and crying about the same thing. Killer Mike just got arrested. He just got embarrassed in front of a national audience. You prop up one brother, you tear down another. And maybe Killer Mike did hit the security guard. I don't know. Maybe they paid the security guard, the instigator. Who knows what happened? Even if, let's pretend Killer Mike was this bad guy who attacked the security guard. He needed to be taken. Was it so severe that the man needed to be handcuffed in front of a national world audience Right after he gets an award, does a Malcolm X schmucker tap dancing routine. Oh, never give up your dreams. Never give up your hope oh, for anybody. Shut the. F but they put him through the ritual, the humil humiliation. Look at me. I articulated everything else, but my accent can't even say that one word. But <laughs> they put him through that type of embarrassment of a ritual. And we over here schmucking it up because Jay-Z comes and turns into the second coming of Malcolm X. <sighs> I can't do this no more, man. I'm getting a nigga's headache, man. Sheesh. Rest in peace, Paul Mooney. You ain't lying. Rest in peace, Paul Mooney, man. Rest in peace to that man, Bob Marley, too. Your head dirty, man. Man, rest in peace to this brother here, man. Jesus, man. I got to dip out, man. This your boy, DJ Bless One, the best one. What the... You see these awards here? I look at it awards for y'all, bro. I don't even give a damn about this right here. I care about y'all in the perspectives of real people, not puppets who got something stuck up in their four point of contact. And now we being told this how the story unfolds. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. Now I say this in every video. Do you really pay attention? Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.